It is a time when you learn a lot about me, and today we learn that I have terrible eyesight. My autofocus couldn't find me when I sat down to make this video, and I blame the glasses because it obviously didn't recognize me. If you remember, on the first day of Vita, I said this. My first kiss was also with my first boyfriend, and that was freshman year of high school, and we only dated for three weeks before I dumped him over a text message. And it seems like life works in funny ways because guess who I ran into yesterday? <laughs> I mean, I've talked to him a little bit since then, but I basically haven't talked to him since freshman year, so three years later, a lot has changed. He was in a play at a local theater, and I knew he was going to be there, and he knew I was going to be there, because I texted him ahead of time to say I was coming, but he was still kind of surprised to see me. He had some other friends who were coming to see him, so we chatted for a minute, and then they came over to him, and I just kind of walked away, because I felt like I was kind of invading his space. He texted me afterwards, and we talked for a while, and it was kind of fun and exciting to talk to someone you haven't talked to in a really long time. But it made me think about how people come and go from our lives. I was thinking about how people either leave from our lives very peacefully or very angrily. I feel like most friends friendships end mutually, either a mutual peace because you grew apart and your lives changed and you both kind of agree that it wasn't working anymore, or because one person's angry at the other person and the other person's angry in response, so neither of them are really interested in being friends anymore, but it's a more passionate feeling. I've had my fair share of both experiences and I can't really decide which one I like more. Obviously if you fight with a friend it's not very fun, but there is a definite ending to your relationship and that's something that you don't get if you just kind of grow apart. I wonder if there's a difference between boys and girls in the way that they end friendships. I know that girls are typically known for kind of fighting with their friends instead of growing apart from their friends because supposedly women are more dramatic and whatever. But I would be interested to know how you guys split apart from your friends and which way you prefer to end a friendship. One I think has more pain but more finality, and the other I think is more emotionally taxing. This distinction also happens in romantic relationships. Then again, I think a breakup from a romantic relationship has more finality in general. You know, with a friendship you can say, I don't want to be friends anymore, but it's different than I'm breaking up with you. I've never ended a romantic relationship angrily, and I'm glad about that, but I also don't know what it's like to have that happen to me. Tell me about endings and how you prefer that they happen. I'll see you tomorrow. What is going on? Oh god! Oh no! I kicked the camera! <laughs> what is wrong? I'm just so off my game today. <laughs>